Shall we, um, uh, as it, it's a little bit of a while since we've met, shall we go around the table? Uh, Les Byron, uh, obviously from FIRE, uh, Chairman of the Authority. Yeah, I'm Nick Sir, I'm the Deputy Chief Fire Officer. Good afternoon, Rob Carden, Most Sign Police, ACC. Ian Cummins, Director of Fire and Support Fire. Jane Kennedy, Police Commissioner. Uh, Councillor Lynn Thompson, uh, Member of the Fire Authority. Councillor Sharon Sullivan, Vice Chair of the Fire Pharmacy. Okay, well, thank you. So I've got some uh, pre, uh, pre uh, comments. Fire alarm, nothing planned. But if you if you hear the alarm, you know what to do. We'll exit smartly. No smoking. Toilets just across the way. Uh, if anyone leaves the meeting, uh, please. There are no uh, confidential items on the agenda. We would normally ask people just to be careful of that. Um, the meeting is likely to be recorded. If anybody has a problem with that, if they'd let me know, um, and uh, we can uh, act accordingly. Um, mobile phones, I think I've said that, switch those off. So uh, uh, we can start recording from now. I'll open the meeting. Uh, I'm Councillor Leslie Byron, chair of the meeting and we can proceed with the agenda. The agenda's been circulated. It's a little while since we've met. Um, uh, preliminary matters, any declarations of interest? No, I don't think there's any additional items. And as I said, there's nothing uh, of an excluded nature. So uh, item two, into the meat of the meat of the business, is the minutes of the previous meeting. Those are presented uh, as a record. Are there any um, factual amendments to the minutes? There aren't any, because there's no previous calendar bill, wasn't it? It's a while ago. It's on the agenda. But there's none, apparently. Membership of the committee, three. Um, so the membership is listed there um, in the on the agenda, um, and um, it follows the same format that we agreed when the last time the committee met. Again, are there any views on that? Any issues? No? Okay. So um, we take that there as, uh, as printed. Four terms of reference. Yeah. The terms of reference are there at page five. They are the same as they were before when this committee existed before. Um, they simply explain um, what this committee is going to do, um, the membership, which you've already agreed, uh, and the quorum, which is um, three members, to include the chair or vice chair of Merseyside Fire and the PCC or deputy PCC for Merseyside. Uh, it's just to take forward, it's a read forward from the last position, isn't it? Really? Yes. Any comments or observations on that? Okay. So, next is a verbal report, uh, an update regarding collaboration. It's very brief, I'm afraid, for this meeting. Uh, obviously, this is the first meeting of the group. And just to update, obviously, I, I'm new in host and I've taken over the role on behalf of the service, fire service, that is. And then Serena Kennedy has obviously stepped into the Deputy Chief Constable position and is my counterpart, and we are co chairing the group. Uh, we've both only met once. We had a meeting just in early February, our first meeting of the group, and we took that opportunity to really review where we've been and to have a review of where we've been and then more importantly about where we want to go moving forward. So what we have asked for the 10 areas of work that were highlighted within the collaboration review, areas of work, leads from both services have been appointed and work's been ongoing. We've taken that opportunity now in that meeting to take stock of where we, were, where we are and ask those 10 leads from each services to go away and come back to the next meeting with a point of where they are, so what work have they completed over the last couple of years, and then more importantly, where do they see 
the collaboration areas moving forward over the next year or two, uh, what aspects are important to them within their role and think that we should be picking up moving forward. So that will be the next meeting, which is in three months' time. We're looking to have that meeting. I'll just highlight a couple of areas that were raised. Uh, where we have been working collaboratively recently. Obviously, there's shared state and co-location, so Prescott Fire Station, that everyone's aware of. An area we're looking at at the moment is the training and development facilities. Uh, we're looking to rebuild our training academy at present towards the end of the year, so there's opportunities for collaboration there. Is that Stop Lane? It's at um, Stockington. Stockington Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stockington Avenue. So we are looking at... Mm -hmm. Five million pound rebuild of the whole site, really. So uh, we're, we're just working through that and trying to identify if there are areas there we can work closer together okay. uh, with the police. Uh, the operational planning that's been going on some time, which is upstairs uh, in this building, that's still progressing on schedule. Uh, a lot of work done around taking the wall down in between uh, the Merseyside Police and the Merseyside Fire Service area. That wall is now gone. And that has all been dealt with, and there is a lot of collaborative work going on up there, and it's certainly working a lot better. That's in the call centre area. It's, up, it's above the call, <coughs> it's where the operational planning oh, yeah, departments yeah, are, so yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good work going on up there, and good. if people take a walk up there, you'll see it's, it's just completely amalgamated, really, so I know Rob works up there as well, so I'm sure you can verify that. Absolutely. Uh, operational response, various areas that we're looking at the moment, uh, where we can work closer together, so concern for welfare and forced entry, uh, missing persons, these are all areas that are ongoing. It's more of the ambulance service, but bariatric patients is, is another area that we're yeah. looking at. Uh, community safety, again, other areas that, that we are looking at. And then future projects, uh, which are ongoing and coming. It's going to take a bit of time, but areas we are looking at are fire and arson incident investigation teams. We're looking at a lot closer work between our incident investigation team and Merseyside police investigation teams. <coughs> And then we are taking a look at, uh, as you already mentioned, the control rooms downstairs to see if there's any further work and more collaborative work yeah. that can be done there. So they're the areas of work that we're concentrating on at present. But what we have asked all the leads to do, as I say, for the 10 areas that were initially identified uh, for potential collaborative work, for the owners of those to go away and come back in a couple of months' time with a presentation and an update as to where they are, what's been achieved, and then more importantly, what they think we can achieve over the coming period. That is a whistle stop tour of where we're up to. Yes, of course. Yeah, question. Uh, will that, those presentations be made, uh, I think, in what format will they be? So previously, members have been able to sit and hear the kind of detail of what of the work has been really beneficial. Uh, I just wonder, is it possible to to arrange that rather than it be done formally here, where the reports have been made to you and then you report. You know, I mean, so we're getting it first hand. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, well, you, well I think this is the object here yeah. is to re uh, kick start the committee, okay. you know, sort of reboot. And uh, I think what it would be useful for members on collaboration, yeah. try to get the ambulance service involved oh, yeah. Yeah. as well, you know, come around the table. Uh, but um, it, we maybe have a sort of a, a bit of a, a part day um, little presentation yeah. on um, some of the, the meat of these things. Yes, that would be useful. One thing that might be, uh, uh, certainly would help me, would be, I, I have a good understanding of where the police, not only in Merseyside but regionally, are at on the um, emergency food services network, ESM. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Now, it being in the, in the title, it's ourselves, it's the police, it's yourselves, and an ambulance. But so the airway refresh, I mean, that's all the new. It's a complete new system. Yes, yeah, it's a new uh, system. But it's delayed by a uh, considerable period of time now, and it's mm. beginning to cost, uh, but certainly the police service. Uh, it would just be, it might be helpful to have an update on that, because that's true collaboration, I think. Although it's not led locally by the so national one, it might be useful to have uh, a perception of what, is, what the three services certainly, if we could get the ambulance service to be involved in that, what their view was locally. I can then disseminate that at regional PCC meetings so that uh, we're all better at four. Do you also say that as an action? Three services. 
just to give a brief update on that, that's part of the work that um, BCFFO so mentioned. So there is a collaborative group around the three organisations and services to take forward um, those as piece of work, seeing what we can do around some of the equipment and sites so we can certainly give our, an update. So there's been ongoing um, programmes of work and collaborative meetings over the last 12 months to take that forward. We have some national work at the LGA. I mean, it's not something that we have had a lot of reports on locally. We have dealt with it quite extensively at that national level, but yes. I think it's a very timely because if it's going to mean any costs coming on to us, yes. although as far as I understood the government had indicated that so far they would absorb some of those costs and they wouldn't pass to fire. I only know about the fire implications. I think you're in a better position than we are. Yeah. I think we, it is an expectation that, we, that police forces will make preparation within their budget in the event of, of some costs coming our way. But some of those costs are caused by the development of the programme nationally and are not the fault mm -hmm. of local forces. So there is a collective view amongst PCCs that we need to be following this really carefully. Um, in particular, as we still don't really have a handset that works reliably. Certainly, that's a report I get from the police. I just throw that in as a an area of collaboration, that even though it's a national program, the inefficiencies within that are impacting on us locally. Yeah. Okay, well we'll pick that up again offline, yes. Thanks. appreciate yeah. that. With, with, with some, several of the other things, and uh, it might be interesting to know what our plans are at, at Croxteth and that sort of thing as well, you know, as does. Because we've taken on the national delivery uh, through under the Home Office for a lot of training programmes. So we don't plan to deliver them necessarily from Croxtworth, but you know, that's just part of the overall situation. So anything else on uh, this verbal report on collaboration? No, we'll pack it up. Uh, schedule and frequency of meetings.